guys how are you doing and welcome back now i recently been on a trip and every time if i go on a trip a vacation holiday i bring with me a travel router and if you are following my channel you know that i'm very uh, fond of the gl.inet travel routers the one i'm using currently that's the barrel ax travel router from gl.inet so i brought it with me on this trip and well it basically broke down and let me down. But I was able to fix it. I'll show you how. Let's get into it. So what happened? Now, what I do is when I bring a travel router with me, I, before I leave home, I update it with the latest firmware, of course, and then I make sure that all the devices I'm bringing with me on that uh, trip, they are connected to that travel router, right? And that travel router is set up that if I connect it to that public uh, Wi-Fi, that hotel Wi-Fi, it will um, it will set up a secure VPN, a WireGuard VPN or OpenVPN uh, client VPN tunnel to my home network, making sure that all my traffic is encrypted and not visible on the uh, public Wi-Fi to which I'm connected. Now, this is also the case uh, for this trip. I checked everything, everything was working. The Barrel AX router was on the latest firmware. But when I got to my uh, vacation place and I tried to connect it to that public Wi-Fi, that hotel Wi-Fi, what, what was happening was that I was able to scan for Wi-Fi networks. I was able to connect the Barrel AX to that public network. But then something weird happened. Every time the Barrel AX now tries to connect to that Wi-Fi, that public Wi-Fi, right, for my internet access, after 15 to 20 seconds, it crashes. And after the crash, it just keeps rebooting and tries to connect to the public Wi-Fi again. There is a small um, window of time after a reboot that I can connect to the, uh, to the router and get in the interface and see what it's trying to do. And every time I see that it's trying to connect to that Wi-Fi, that public Wi-Fi, crashes again, reboots, and now we are stuck in a loop. That's basically everything or, or the only thing the device was doing now. So what I did was I just did, did a reset of the device, um, re-uploaded my configuration. Um, basically, the only thing I need to re-upload after a reset is, is my WireGuard and OpenVVN configurations. Uploaded that. And still, every time I connect to that public Wi-Fi, the router crashes, reboots, crashes, reboots, and so on. So I thought, Okay, this is not the way I want to spend my vacation. So I put it away and went on with enjoying the rest of the day. So now during the night before I went to sleep, we are back at the hotel. And now I'm thinking it keeps bugging me, right? Because, hey, I'm an IT nerd. So yeah, it is bugging me. Why is this not working? My iPhone is working fine with that same um, hotel Wi-Fi for testing purposes. I connected it and it was working fine. So it must be something on the Barrel AX that is um, not working fine, not playing well with the hotel Wi-Fi. And I get into the forums and try to find out what other people were saying, if there are similar experiences like this. So I want to troubleshoot it. Now, I have limited resources there, right? I don't travel with my computer. I don't have all the cables and stuff I need. So what I did was basically I set up a small troubleshooting setup. I have my iPad always when I travel. I have that USB Ethernet adapter that's right here connected to the iPad. And then the iPad has a physical network interface. And using that USB dongle, I can now connect it to the Barrel AX. And because I was sitting in a corner of my room where there is no uh, AC outlet. So what I did was I grabbed the power bank and then I was able to power up that um, Barrel AX for troubleshooting purposes. So this is my small and so-called emergency setup for doing troubleshooting on why the Barrel AX is not working. All right, so the router was crashing. Now it is in a boot loop. So if I reset it using the hard button on the router itself, it loses all the configuration, but at least I was able to get into the router. And if I configure the router to connect to the hotel Wi-Fi, when it would connect to the hotel Wi-Fi, that's the moment it would crash, right? But there is a small window of time after the router reboots and it tries that connection again that you can log into the interface of the router and that small window of time before it actually connects to the hotel wi-fi 
it gave me the option. I was, I was able to quickly grab some screenshots of the log file. And the log file, as you can see here on screen, shows that there are, there are a lot of check RX errors. So I quickly grabbed a picture, I, a photo. I made a photo with my iPhone. Um, and now the second step for me was, uh, well, I know what the error is that the router is creating. Let's see if I can find something in the forums, uh, in the gl.inet uh, forums. There must be some other people out there who are experiencing this same uh, issue and maybe there is a fix for it because I'm already on the latest firmware. I tried the latest beta firmware from GLINet at this point as well, reset the router, brought it to factory defaults. I still had the same CR uh, check uh, RX errors and the same behavior. I quickly grabbed a photo of the log file and then moved on to the forum. And this is what I found or at least this is one of the threads which was very helpful. As you can see here, the WAN connection continuously drops. Okay, so that is exactly what I'm experiencing, but it is not only dropping that WAN connection, it is crashing the router and rebooting the router. So in the end of this thread, this forum thread, I will leave the uh, link to the forum thread in the description below. If I scroll to the bottom, there is some person, some guy saying that there is a open WRT version of the firmware for the Barrel AX. Now the difference between the normal version and the open WRT version of uh, the firmware for a Barrel AX is that Wi-Fi driver. If we quickly go to the download center of uh, GLINet, and you can see here, this is the official download page to download firmwares for this router. Uh, like I said, I already tried the beta firmware. This was not working, creating the same behavior. The latest stable, this was doing, well, this was crashing, rebooting, um, um, doing a, a downgrade to the previous version was uh, creating the same issue. And luckily I was able to do all the flashing and updating using the iPad I had because it was physically connected. So more or less stable to do these actions. Of course, there is a chance, right? I'm troubleshooting with a limited setup, uh, rigged together with an iPad, a USB dongle. Ch chances are that I would break the router. But at this point I was frustrated why it was not working. So I thought, well, you know, the router is not working. If I'm breaking it, I'm not losing anything besides that the router will, well, probably have to trash it. Um, but I was willing to take the risk, right? Because it was frustrating me why this is not working. I'm sure you guys know the feeling as well. So I'm here and I tried the beta firmware, upgraded the router to the beta firmware, resetted everything to factory defaults, and then tried to do the connection again to the hotel Wi-Fi. Still the same problem. It is crashing as soon as it connects, tries to get an IP, it crashes and reboots and does it all over again. So, like I said, in the forum, I found someone who was using that uh, OpenWRT version of the firmware. Now, the OpenWRT version of the firmware is found on, this, on the same download page. This is the OpenWRT version. The difference or one of the major differences in this firmware compared to the stable firmware for this router, which is being made available by GLINet itself, is that in the OpenWRT version, there is a open source Wi-Fi driver. And in the official stable version of the firmware for this Barrel AX, there is a Wi-Fi, a proprietary Wi-Fi driver for this specific chipset. So I thought, all right, well, the OpenWRT version with that open source driver. Let's try that. Um, maybe I will not hit my full potential on Wi-Fi speeds, but at least it would be stable. So now what I did was I downloaded this version and using my amazing troubleshooting setup, I reset it uh, or I flashed that version to the Barrel AX. And after it rebooted, I did a factory reset as well from the interface. And now I'm trying to connect again to that hotel Wi-Fi. And lo and behold, it works. 
it connects fine to the hotel Wi-Fi, it gets an IP address, and I can start my VPN connection using WireGuard or OpenVPN to my home network. I don't have the check RX errors anymore. It is not dropping the connection to the hotel Wi-Fi. It is stable. And I thought, okay, so this is working with the OpenWRT version. Um, what you're seeing here is connection to my local Wi-Fi now. So this is not uh, the hotel Wi-Fi, of course. But now it was working. So it was not crashing. I was, ha I was having a stable connection to the hotel Wi-Fi. I was able to do everything I needed to do. And the router was not crashing, not rebooting. It was stable. I didn't see any drops in Wi-Fi speeds. Everything seems to be working fine. So in the end, using my so-called emergency setup, using some guidance I found in the forums, doing some troubleshooting for myself for the router with the limited uh, resources I had there, I found out that a specific version upgrade or a specific version would be solving my problem, and it did, luckily. So after I flashed the OpenWRT version to the router, it was stable, and as you can see here, I am still running that same OpenWRT version. Well, if I go to the upgrade tab on the router, you can see here, this is the version which I'm running now on the router and I'm running the OpenWRT version. That's the version of made available by GLINet on the downloads page. So for now, I will keep this version of the firmware. It has served me well. It made the connection more stable than I thought it was with the official stable version because with the official stable version of the firmware, I had some um, it would not always show a captive portal, uh, for example. I didn't experience that uh, issue anymore with the OpenWRT version of the firmware. And basically everything was running fine. So we are good. And that's how I fixed the router during my vacation. I was literally ready to throw it away. I was not planning on taking this broken thing back home. Um, but... Well, I gave it another try. I set up a emergency rig there with my iPad, uh, USB, a dongle, and uh, I was able to flash another version of the firmware. Thankfully, uh, I saw it on the forums and that other version of the firmware, that OpenWRT version, it is using the open source drivers for Wi-Fi uh, for this specific router, and it's making the unit more stable than uh, with the original one. That's my experience at least because even in the past when I was using that original firmware um, with that proprietary driver from GLINet, uh, I was experiencing sometimes some weird issues with captive portals not showing up directly. I had to reboot the router and then it showed up. And in my experience, that's not happening anymore with this version of the firmware, with that OpenWRT version of the firmware with that open source Wi-Fi driver in it. It's it's basically more stable. So my suggestion is that if you're using one of the GLI net products, because I know from experience that um, they are doing a lot of development on firmware. So yeah, that's my experience with my travel router. Um, I am curious what kind of experiences you guys have out there. Leave it in the comment below of the video. Uh, let's see if you have specific adventures or stories with this router. Uh, or other GLI net products. Um, I'm curious to know what you guys are thinking. As always, guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to click on the like and subscribe buttons below on the video. Uh, that way you will get a notification whenever I post a new video. And also it helps out my channel a lot. If you have comments, you can leave it in the comment section below. I'll try to get to them as soon as possible. For now, you guys take care. Have a great day and see you next time. Bye.